What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Satisfactory. We are continuing our bauxite aluminum mission. So we got this guy hooked up the last episode. We should be seeing a train coming in here eventually with some bauxite and stuff. But we got to get this stuff refined. We got to start doing some stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoy the episode. If you do, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. That was a little close there, wasn't it? And we're going to go ahead. We're going to get started. So we're going to get started by building a platform. Now, I have got to uh, keep in mind that we're going to have to use refiners. So anywhere that I put those refiners, I need enough room above them. You know what I mean? Let's start off by grabbing. We'll grab a few of these. We're not going to need like a metric ton. Wow, those are moving fast, aren't they? <laughs> we're not going to need like super amount, but we're going to need quite a bit. I think we're we're getting to the point now where I think it's about time to do some massive uh, some, some redesigns of the factory. We have stuff just absolutely everywhere. It's just it's a disaster zone here. So we'll probably be checking that stuff out eventually you know what i think we might just run them i think we might just run them oh we could run them down because then we won't because that's fake water this is <laughs> this is real water that's fake water and i don't know how far we want to pipe up everything yeah let's um let's bring stuff down just a hair grab this guy bring it down and then i think i think that one would be probably perfect for what we're trying to do here. And then we'll get, uh, I don't know where that just went. <laughs> I don't know where that one just went. Oh, hey dude, what's up, man? What's up, how's it going? You look like you're super excited to see me. Are you super excited to see me? <gasps> no, darn it. All right, so we have this area, kind of. I think this will be big enough. Um, I'm not actually sure. Let's see what we need for a refiner. Actually, I only need some pipes. That's not bad at all. I want, let's say, uh, let's say we want three of these bad boys. Um, I just, wow, just steel pipe. That's, that's actually not bad. So first things first, let's get the, let's get the refiners in here. Cause I said I wanted three of these bad boys and I want to make sure that we have enough room for all the activities because we're going to have to run water through, uh, the back of these as well. So let's do throw one there and then let's kind of get things lined up here. All right, so there's those three. Now, how many of these do I actually need? Because I want to run, I need to get some aluminum solution. It's going to run seven, 70 bauxite per minute. Oh, wow. A hundred water per minute. Holy moly. Okay, so actually we bear, we don't even have enough to run. Ooh, a hundred per minute. That means I'm probably going to need three water pumps just to make sure. And that's going to max out the line. Okay, so we can run, we can run one water line to all these with three pumps and then we're gonna have to overclock one of our miners a little bit to get the uh to get the an equal output but i think that it'll be fine so let's grab these i want to bring this i want to bring it down closer to the water level let's see how does that look let me bring it down another one i feel like we're gonna need to take this guy out and he's gone <laughs> all right and then we're gonna throw one right there how does that look Ooh right under the water huh i'd like it to be a little higher than that let's let's play with that a little bit all right that looks a little bit better uh i had to use some like you know single deals and whatnots but that'll that'll work and then we should be able to uh, throw three water collectors here i only grab i think i only grab enough stuff for two if i'm not mistaken but uh okay there's a rock in the way there that's fine and then let's just get these filled in can i put these here so it looks all nice Oh, very nice indeed. All right, so there's that. And let's get our three water deals put in here. Make sure we can get them in where they need to be. All right, three water pumps, all good to go. Um, Let's see, that's going to run 100. So it's actually going to be overloading that pipe. I don't think you can bust pipes, though, if I'm not mistaken. It'll... Ugh. Yeah, because those only need 300 water, and that's the max for a pipe. So I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be fine with that. And I think what we're going to actually do for the water is we're actually going to run it... Uh, I think we're going to run it through over here this way behind these. And then we're going to just bring it out this way and then connect it. in. I think that'll be good. And we're going to have to get a pump in here as well. Also, not a big deal, but let's go ahead. Let's get that. Hmm. Maybe we should get a pipeline stackable support pipeline support. All right. We'll put one there and then we'll get this guy ran up here. Oh, we're missing iron plates. Are you serious? Oh my goodness. All right. Now we have, now we have some steel sheeting. Now we can, we can do what we need to do. All right. So let's throw that guy there. We're going to run these over here. 
but I want to keep them nice and straight. So we'll put one there. Uh, and then we'll run this guy all the way down here like that. I am out of fuel for my jetpack. Probably should go get some more of that. All right, so there's those. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and just connect these guys up and get them all ready to rock and roll. All right, so those are all good. We have room. If we need to expand out, we can go one more. I need to get some. Uh, I need to get some some conveyors in here as well. We will go with Mark. Ooh, do we need Mark Fours? Probably. Uh, we have plenty of stuff for it, so we'll grab Mark Fours. Uh, let's go ahead and swap it around. Mm, maybe I should put in the conveyor line first. Yeah, let's do that. So our line is coming down from right there. And I was going to bring it in through here, run it this way. However, it might behoove us to put in some storage deals in here just in case anything shuts down and can actually keep running. Because uh, I'm, I'm going to say that the train line is probably already almost full. <laughs> and uh, it, needs to be, it needs to have a place to go. So let's get that guy going. Get some logistics in here get that there and then we connect this guy we need to connect connect that to here shouldn't be an issue all right we do that and then connect you to there fantastic rolling in perfect okay cool so we'll probably actually bring down a uh conveyor how do we want to do this do we want to bring it down from this way i could drop it right in the middle into a splitter we have the splitter right here, one that way, and then one that way. Hmm. I don't really like doing that though. Uh, we'll probably we'll probably just bring it around and have it come in over here. Possibly. We could throw another one of these in right here. No, we can't because I don't have enough beams for it. <laughs> Never mind. All right, there we go. So that's gonna fill up that line. Doesn't look too terrible. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw some splitters in here. So there's that, and then we should be able to get. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I was a little worried that we might be. Oh. They even connect right up. That is a win. Oh no, I'm out of encased industrial beam. Okay. So we're gonna have to go get more encased industrial beams. That's fine. Uh, we don't need to do that quite yet. Let's get everything else piped up and ready to rock and roll here. Let's see, so we just need some pipeline. You into there. Uh, and then we'll bring this guy straight out. Actually, you know what? Let's just throw a, uh, let's throw a merger deal right here. Like that. One to there. And then you to that way. And then we can do this one as a nice little just corner deal. Perfect. Okay. So there's those. And then we're also going to need a pipeline pump. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to need a pipeline pump for sure. So we'll do that. And that should have no issue connecting anything. Do we have stuff for the poles? Uh, okay. I guess we're going to be using these poles. So we'll get, okay. We're going to have to deal with the output as well though. Got to keep that in mind. <laughs> All right. Now where can we hook into? I think we can hook in right here, right? All right, let's see. What's our power draw? I, you know, I haven't even been paying attention to like our actual power that we have. Uh, these guys should spin up. These are not filling up yet because I don't have the um, I don't have all the uh, the things connected. Uh, no power. Oh, we gotta, we gotta connect power up to those. Silly me. All right, there we go. So now this is gonna start filling up with water and bauxite. Not even a problem. These should be able to supply it. The pump should be not having an issue. Let's make sure. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. And it is about maxing out for water wise. So uh, that's all right. We could put an industrial buffer on here, but you know, I don't really see the point. We're going to be rocking in it right about its max anyways. So max floor. I'm curious if it's going to say something. It's going to be like, oh, pipe burst or something like that. It shouldn't. It should just max out. Yeah. Okay, cool. So that's good. That's good. Um, I need some more in case industrial beams. And then we got to deal with the outputs of these as well, because we do make a byproduct in this. But I think the byproduct is like actually super useful. Now we can get these last guys hooked up and we should get some serious production. Wonderful. I love that this is actually like hooked up like that. That's fantastic. All right. So what are we outputting here? Uh, we are outputting silica and aluminum alumina solution. So what do I need to actually make the aluminum? Uh, aluminum scrap is going to be, oh, fantastic. It's the petroleum Coke. <laughs> uh, okay. So petroleum Coke and the solution. So we're actually gonna have to have more refiners and it takes four and that how many refiners we're going to need. You know, I don't really know. Cause the aluminum scrap then has to go holy aluminum processing. This is, this is a thing in itself. We're going to, you know what? I think we're going to keep expanding this area. This area is going to be the aluminum area for sure. All right. We got, we got more room to play with now. So I'm going to need fluid buffers on all of these. And then we're also going to have to deal with the, that solid 
material as well, the silica. But I think we need, if I'm not mistaken, we need that silica powder, the silica for, what did we need byproduct derived from quartz commonly used in structural materials and microelectronics. What did we need silica for? I can't even remember off the top of my head. Okay, so I think the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put an industrial fluid buffer in here. Uh, we're gonna drop this guy right here because I think what we're gonna end up doing is running it into into a couple refiners over here and then going from there. Yeah, so let's get these guys hooked up. So that way they can at least be doing something with that. And then we're also gonna have to do something with the byproduct of the silica. I don't know what we need the silica for. I can't remember off the top of my head. All right, so the fluid has somewhere to go. This should be filling up. It is fantastic. Uh, alumina solution, wonderful. But we're gonna have to deal with the the byproduct of this production. Here we go. Do I not? I don't have anything selected. Oh my goodness, what am I doing here? There we go. So I know we need that silica powder for for something. I just can't think of what it is off the top of my head. Uh, let's see if we can get a let's get an assembler in here and let's just take a quick peek because I think we need something for the assembler. Okay, so it's not that possibly. What do the aluminum ingots take? So I think we need a foundry and I think we need the aluminum ingots for something. I don't know if the aluminum ingots are, it wouldn't make sense if, oh, it's the aluminum scrap, right? Yeah, it's aluminum scrap and petroleum coke. Isn't that what it was? I thought that's what it was. So the foundry for the aluminum ink requires a scrap and, oh, see, look at that. That's super weird. The byproduct of refining the bauxite gives us the aluminum, the alumina liquid and the silica but then we have to refine it again and then get, that's super interesting. Okay. <laughs> so basically we split the bauxite to get the aluminum liquid and the silica, but then we have to mix the bauxite, the aluminum liquid and the silica back together in the long run to get the aluminum ingot. That's kind of weird. I, you know what, it, it is what it is. <laughs> I get it. It's a refining process. It is what it is. So we're gonna need a foundry. Uh, we're also gonna need to take that silica and start packaging it into uh, a storage unit deal for now, because we're gonna need it to make the aluminum ingots anyways. So let's get that solved. That way these guys can keep running without backing up and then we can get some a little bit of storage stuff going on here. So we'll get an industrial storage in right here, right next to this guy. That looks pretty good. I don't think we're gonna need two of them. I think just one will probably be enough. And then we're just gonna run these all into this and that shouldn't cause an issue whatsoever. <laughs> All right. So that was kind of a pain because of how close everything is. I couldn't just run the belt through here. Oh no. I had to run it up here because it was encroaching this space and then it was encroaching this thing. So it's it it's weird. It it's functioning. That's all that matters. Now I got to figure out if I'm going to even be able to get this hooked up because of where I had to put it is probably not going to work, but we're going to try. So conveyor merger. I'm just going to literally throw this thing as close to this as I can. I don't think that's going to connect. I want to say that right now. Oh, it did connect. We should see them coming in here. All right, cool. I'm actually really, really surprised that that worked. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's definitely working. I can't believe that, but I like it. I will take it. I will take it. All right. So that's good. That's good. How? F oh my God. This thing's already full. <laughs> we got to get dealing with that. So we need some refiners, of course. And I don't have any more refiners. I have the stuff. Actually, I can make more. So that's good. So let's run this one. We're going to keep in mind the piping. And we're going to bring in petroleum coke as well. So let's leave a little bit of space here. Put one here. How much space does that leave on this side? All right. So we're not going to be encroaching there. Uh, let's go ahead and get another one in here. I think I'm trying to think how much. Okay, so how much do you actually need for the loan of scrap? 240 per minute. And these are producing how much? These are producing 80 per minute. Okay, so actually I only need one. Yeah, we only need one because 180, 60, 240. Yeah, so it's exactly three to one ratio on that one. So let's just get rid of that one for now. We don't need it. And then we're going to need petroleum coke. Uh, so we're going to bring that down here all the way from up there which we already do have a line but um hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. we could actually bring it from the train because we're producing a bunch of petroleum coke if i'm not mistaken then we could instead of putting it into the sink we could have the train bring it back bring it down here we might just do that that might be a little bit easier i know it's a longer distance but uh with the train stuff already going it probably will be the easiest thing to do okay so this is going to produce the aluminum scrap at a rate of wait what it's producing 60 it's gonna produce 60 water per minute hold on a second that what i literally just put water in 60 per minute this needs 100 per minute 
we could run this into this line and probably get rid of hold on let me do some quick math in my dome here so we could actually drop one of these water pumps these will produce 120 piece which would be 240 and then this will also be producing 60 which will give us 300 which is how much water we need to run all three of these at the same time so we're gonna literally pipe this guy straight back into here and it's it's almost gonna circulate that's that is absolutely hilarious <laughs> i love it i love it okay uh we need to get rid of these i don't love these so that's really interesting okay all right well we need to get the uh the petroleum coke over here because we can't do anything without that and then we also have to get this hooked up to a foundry so let's get a foundry built before i forget this guy all right so there's a foundry that was easy enough that's just gonna elevate up probably and then what's the other thing oh it's this one so this has to go on one side this has to go on the other and then this pipe's gonna okay cool cool so we're gonna do a little bit of a redesign here but it's not gonna be anything too crazy this is gonna have to be just adjusted a hair and i'm actually gonna need another smart splitter and i don't have an ai control module as of yet so you know what let's leave it connected for now but basically we're gonna switch this one to allow two items to go this way then we're gonna have another splitter right here that's gonna do one item one item because we're having four different items brought in so this one's gonna be petroleum coke uh that should be okay let's go grab another ai module wonderful so let's get this stuff over here turned into something useful now how are we sitting on tickets <gasps> look at that we got nine tickets how amazing all right so instead of doing that we're gonna just do get rid of this piece we're gonna throw a conveyor merger on right here and we should be able to just throw a belt from here to here no problemo and just like that we now have petroleum coke being brought back to the station and the base place oh shoot this thing's completely full because it doesn't have any room to unload. Wait, what's going on here? Is it coming in now? Yeah, you know what? We need to upgrade some belts. Let's get some belts upgraded here. I may have just lost my ride back. That's okay. You know, since we're over here, let's check on uh, this stuff. Okay, so rubber is, I mean, uh, the, I mean, circuit boards. Circuit boards are coming out, coming out decently. Not too terrible. Look at all that petroleum coke coming on in. Yes, I love it. I love it. Okay, so that'll be good. That'll be good. We just need a ride back and we got to get the uh, we got to get that other container actually unloading because we're bringing in more plastic than we need so you know what we could do we could throw some of the plastic into the resource sink we could just put a uh a diverter on some of the plastic oh the problem well we have the ai control module you know i think we're gonna leave it for now I think we're gonna leave it for now i think we'll be okay and we're gonna start using plastic for more stuff anyways so uh let's just wait for our train ride back all right i'm still a little worried we <laughs> there's already a cargo slot on this train which means it's still not offloading everything that it needs to we might have to hook up the the secondary uh little port deal because maybe it just can't unload fast stuff and that's that's honestly what i'm thinking i think it just can't unload fast. even with the mark four belts we might actually really have to get into the mark fives for uh especially for these because everything's going through like essentially one port and it's it's gonna try to load something but it's not gonna be able to yep see look at that oh oh darn nope can't can't do it can't do it we'll just we'll just go ahead and put that right back where it came from yeah it looks as though it might <laughs> it looks like it's not keeping up uh let's let's check it out here i bet you this thing's still full huh that's ah, still pretty full and that thing is just going to town all right so let's get this other guy set up here it's all mark four. wait you stopped oh it probably stops when it's uh loading okay maybe is this not a mark it's not a mark four conveyor no it is all right so let's get this one taken apart and let's get a another smart splitter right here perfect so we're gonna have to change some outputs just a little bit that can go there and then on this one our left output is going to be the circuit boards. Continuing. Center output is going to be the, where's the, uh, the petroleum coke. And then the right is probably, we're gonna, we're gonna have to have an overflow. Just actually, we're, we don't have an overflow. There's nothing else going in there. So we should be good. Put that there, put that there. And then we need to adjust the right output to be da, 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 circuit board and, oh. It's not a programmable splitter. It's it's not a programmable splitter. It's this is a smart splitter. There's a programmable splitter where you can pick what you want where. Actually, that'll still work because we still have the circuit board. We still have the petroleum coke being split off. 
and we do need the we probably should have a extra one just in case these kind of thing and then for right output we will put any undefined so anything that was not already identified it'll go in there we shouldn't have an issue with that but now we have petroleum coke being brought over and all we have to do is run it right down here it's got to run right into there uh so conveyor <laughs> perfect i like it grab this guy run that one there that into there petroleum coke going in it is indeed and we should be set let's power up everything and get this thing rocking and rolling shall we let's see what we can see if we can get some uh some aluminum ingots i would like that it'd be quite nice all right everything should be hooked up ammonium aluminum solutions coming in petroleum coke is coming in that's going out water is going oh we gotta we gotta take out one of these we gotta undo one of these guys uh, otherwise we'll have too much water let's just disconnect that guy and let's actually just disconnect the power on it should be good hopefully i might want to throw a fluid buffer in there i think we'll be okay we can always purge the line if we need to uh water water's still going out scrap is coming in how fast are we <gasps> oh i feel like we have a lot of scrap coming in like i think it's gonna back up how fast how, how oh it, it, okay 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 it stacks over five Oh, I think we have scrap coming in faster than we can deal with it, though. It says 240 per minute, though. Oh, it does 360 per minute. We might want to get a second foundry. And then how much silica? Uh, 140 per minute. How much are we producing? Oh, and we're only producing 60 per minute of that. So we're going to have to get the other silica in here. That's going to be a trick. That's going to be interesting because, yeah, that's only going to give us 20 per minute of the silica powder. We need... Ooh. Ooh! 140 so we're not gonna have nearly enough we're gonna have way way too much scrap and not enough silica uh i guess that's not the worst thing so we're definitely going to go into the uh the quartz mining because we haven't even started quartz mining so we're gonna have to do that we're gonna have to get that set up so we can make more silica powder so we can come in here and make more alumina uh and then we should have aluminum ingots coming in here we do indeed oh my goodness finally we got some aluminum <laughs> oh it feels good uh we had to do quite a bit for it but hey Lots of refining processes going into aluminum. You know, I feel like aluminum is one of the re like one of the resources in life that's like fairly easy and cheap. This is not making it easy and cheap. There's a lot of stuff that's going into it. But uh, yeah, that's gonna end this episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. We were probably we'll be streaming this on Twitch.tv slash the one gaming uh, as of today. Actually, today release we'll be streaming this over on Twitch. So if you guys want to check it out. Make sure you head over there. Super amazing of time. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for the support. You have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next episode.